Welcome everybody to DiCaprio Boodle in seven plays. And if you're not familiar with what I'm doing in this series, is I'm taking a quick look at a prospect and showing you what type of prospect they are in just a limited number of plays, in this case, seven plays. So let's go ahead, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into Nebraska cornerback DiCaprio Boodle. All right, one of the first things I want to point out about DiCaprio Boodle is he does a great job of playing the ball in the air. His ball skills are good. It's evident during his sophomore season when teams tried to pick on him quite a bit, and he ended up having 15 pass breakups, which was first in the Big Ten. It tied a Nebraska school record. It was top 10 in college football. So he's got the ability to play the ball in the air, and this is evident in this game against Iowa. And Boodle's up here at the top of the screen, playing off coverage, and that's, you know, he'll play off and man coverage, and he's just going to flow in coverage, and he's kind of playing zone, no one out there around, the quarterback's kind of scrambling, and throws the ball, and he's able to go in and make the interception. Now, this isn't a great example of, of ball skills, he's not going up and playing the ball, but from the clips, the, from the games, this Iowa game, the Ohio State game, he didn't have a lot of opportunities. Teams didn't throw at him a ton, uh, but when they did in this situation, he was able to go in and make a, a big interception. Now, DiCaprio Boodle playing on the outside corner. Uh, for Nebraska this past season, he played the boundary corner, which was on the short side of the field quite a bit. And he played a lot of different coverages. He played press man coverage. He played off man coverage. And he has the ability to do both. Here in press man coverage, it just shows his ability to get up on the line of scrimmage and just shadow press. He's able to just kind of fall back and just shadow his receiver. He doesn't give up a lot of, of separation. And he just is able to use his, his speed, his quickness, to be able to react to the receiver making his cuts. Now, for the most part, DiCaprio Budo played a lot of shadow press man coverage. He's not up there rerouting on a consistent basis, jamming the receivers. A lot of times he just wanted to get up tight on them, turn and run, and, and react to their movements. This was an exception. And asked to press, DiCaprio Budo is able to attack at this receiver. He's up here at the top of the screen. He's attacking and he's able to reroute him enough inside. He pushes him a good yard or two inside, kind of throwing him a bit off on his route and affecting that play. And just using his power, using his explosiveness, is just able to reroute him just enough that he's able to uh, throw him off his route. Caprio Boodle is much more than just a coverage receiver, coverage defensive back. He also has shown, especially in this 2020 season, that he's not afraid of contact. He's not afraid to come up in the run game and make a play. And that was evidence here against Ohio State. He's down at the bottom of the screen. Remember, press man. I mean, he plays the boundary corner. And they're going to run the ball to his side. And the ball's going to come, and he's able to see him coming, fly down. He, he's got no one in front of him. He's able to fly down, come under control, and make a strong tackle there. As we see once again, reacts forward, uses his speed to close, and just lays a good shoulder and drives through that running back to bring him to the ground. He kind of did throw his body at him, but he was able to get those hands in to help bring him down. We see another example of Boodle and his willingness to come up and take on contact. Ohio State's going to throw a little flare pass to this, this slot receiver, and Boodle is going to read that down at the bottom of the screen, and fly up through the block attempt to come and make this tackle at the line of scrimmage. So you see if he's able to quickly react and read it, fly up, and wrap up the receiver at the ankles to prevent a long gain. Because if he doesn't stop him here, he's probably getting that first down. Now, as I project DiCaprio Boodle to the NFL, I think his best fit on the NFL in the NFL is as a pseudo safety corner hybrid and basically having him work i don't know if he'll be a true slot corner and i think he could i think he could play on the outside but i think his best position in the nfl is kind of a strong safety in the uh, coverage strong safety we saw a chauncey gardner johnson for the 
uh, New Orleans Saints, a guy that's, you know, going to play a safety, but kind of more of an underneath safety who will match up man to man. And so we see elements of that on the tape with DiCaprio Boodle. Here against Iowa, Boodle's lined up actually in the slot right here covering this receiver. And he's in his press man coverage. He's still using his cornerback traits, but he's able to just out of the slot, turn and run and cover that cornerback. I know he kind of goes off screen at the top, but he's able to just turn and use his speed, use his quickness to be able to run and cover receivers out of the slot. And lastly, we see him playing in a safety role. Now, in this game against Ohio State, he's lined up here, right here as the the field safety, so he's on the wide side of the field. And Boodle's playing that safety position because one of the Nebraska starting safeties got ejected for targeting, and so he slid back to safety. Boodle has started previ previous games at safety. I know uh, in, during his junior year, they, they moved him back to safety at times, so he has that experience. That's another reason why I think he can project well to that position. And he, this shows kind of where I think he's going to be in the NFL because he's going to be a safety, but he's going to be lined up covering this slot receiver in man-to-man -man coverage. And so at the snap of the ball, he's able to see him and then react and anticipate him going outside. And he's able just to anticipate. And I think playing back at that safety, it uses his anticipation skills a little bit better than his instincts maybe at corner. And he's able to see that, that slot receiver going to that corner out, and he's able to kind of jump it and take him out of this play. DiCaprio Boodle is an interesting prospect who, who's been a three-year starter at Nebraska as an outside corner. As I mentioned, looking at the clips, he also got some action at, at safety and during his junior season started there. And I think having that experience at both safety and corner, I think is really going to help him out because that, that safety hybrid role is, is where I think he best projects. You know, Husker fans will remember Joshua Kalu, who played corner and safety at, during his time at Nebraska. He's gone on to the Tennessee Titans and carved out a nice role as a, you know, backup safety that can kind of play a versatile role. And, and that's what the NFL needs out of their safeties these days. They need guys that can cover. They need guys that can play over the top and help out in the run game. And I think that's where Boodle is best fit because he's not this huge physical presence in the run game, but he's got this speed. He's got the toughness to go in and make tackles. He's got the speed to cover. He's got quickness. I think the thing that kind of maybe prevents him from maybe um, being considered maybe a higher prospect is his instincts. There's times on the tape, especially if you go back and watch that Northwestern game at the end, where his instincts aren't the greatest, where he tends to guess at times. And so I think that kind of prevents him. But he's got the speed. He ran a 4-3-8-40 at the pro day. He's got quickness. He's got the ability to play the ball. I think he's probably going to be either a, a sixth or seventh round pick or more likely a undrafted free agent. I think not having as many small school guys in this year's draft because we didn't have an FCS season. Um, some of those guys decided to stay, and you're not having as many small school guys. And those are the guys that usually go in that sixth and seventh round. Teams will take flyers on prospects rather than take the better prospects. Just because someone's undrafted doesn't mean that they're not a better prospect and don't have a higher grade than some of those guys in the sixth and seventh round, but teams just want to take a chance on them. And so I think a guy like DiCaprio Boodle, because you're not seeing those guys take, you know, available there, you're not seeing as many small school FCS Division II type guys. I think he's got a chance to be drafted. I think him running a 4-3-8-40 at his, at his pro day really helps. So I'm not going to be surprised if Boodle's a sixth or seventh round pick. He's got ball skills. He's got speed. He's got experience. He could play multiple positions. Um, I But I kind of think he'll end up being an undrafted free agent, which is kind of a good thing because then he can pick and choose to see where he can go. And he can hopefully latch on and get signed as an undrafted free agent with a team that runs a defense where he can play in this hybrid type role. So I'm a big fan of that DiCaprio Boodle. I would draft him in those late rounds if I was if I was making those decisions. Um, but if I had to project, like I said, I think he's probably an undrafted free agent. I think he'll a teams will 
will be trying hard to sign him. And I definitely think he's going to be a guy that's going to have a nice five to six to seven year career in the NFL because he can play on special teams. He can play corner. He can play safety. He, you know, good character, good work ethic. I, and I think teams are really going to like him. So that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for DiCaprio Boodle in seven plays. I hope you enjoyed this. The best way to get these is to subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Make sure you're following me on social media, draft underscore Brian, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it may be. Make sure you follow me there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until the next one.